Y'all ain't subscribed yet? Man, like, share, subscribe. Hit that like button right now. Did this happen to our people? Read this again. Hold up, hold up, sis. Hey, what's your name, sis? Sheree, I'm Asael. So what we're going over are the curses that have befallen God's chosen people, the Israelites. Now let's see if this curse identifies with our people. You understand, sis? All right, now listen up, read. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So sis, have we been scattered amongst all people? Yes, so it sounds like us. Read on. From the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. Across the whole globe you find us. Read. And there. Wherever that ship, because that's what happened. This is true, right? right? That's how we got scattered. It was a ship, right? Right. Slave ship, right? It says, and there, what? Thou shalt serve other gods. Now I'm asking you a question. What other, what gods do we serve here in America? Right. What are the no. other gods? Because guess what? They didn't know this. What about this? Slide over. This, is this another God that we serve? Is that in the Bible? Is it in the Bible? No. So, that right there, you know who it's talking to. It's talking to you, sis. We must identify, guess what? We are God's chosen people. This is one thing we read. We ain't even done with it. Read on. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even one. Even one, which represents Christianity. Because guess what? Were you raised Christian, sis? I was raised Adventist. Adventist. Seven day Adventist. Guess what? We was in slavery or it was black holes when that came about. Right. We never we never dealt with that. Right. Where do you right. see being Adventist in the Bible? You, know. you don't. You see God's chosen people, the Israelites. Guess what? Look on this side now. Where do you where do you see yourself at? Right. Where do you see yourself? Because guess what? I would be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. Right. Where would you be, sis? This is the thing we haven't been taught properly who we were. So right. where you would be, sis? Judah! Right. Guess what? Right. Get, give me uh, what Christ. Give me Hebrews 7. Right. I'm going to show you who else comes from Judah, sis. We got you with your bus. Jeez. I know you're trying to get somewhere, but guess what? This is the greatest information that you need to know. Right. This is going to be your confidence booster that you don't, you know, uh, go after the ways of the other people. Right. Read this. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Right. For it is evident that our Lord Sprang out of Judah. He said, our Lord sprang out of Judah. You just said you from Judah. Right. So what that mean the Lord look like? It look like he looked like you. Let's prove it. Yeah. Revelation chapter one. Yeah. Hey brother right there walking. Hey, quick question, bro. What does Jesus Christ look like? Right. How you know? How do you know? Let me come here, come here, come here, come here. Bring your family. Bring them all. Cause they all need to know this information. This information is vital for their success in this life. Read. Revelation chapter one and verse 14. His head. What? His head. And his hairs were white like wool. It says Jesus Christ had an afro. White in color, woolly in texture. It says right here. Do you believe in Jesus the Christ? How does he look? What about like this? That's what you was taught? Yeah. Okay. Now look, we were miseducated as a race. What would you call your nationality, sis? Hispanic. Hispanic. You see yourself on the sign? Because on one side is what we're told here in America, and when we're underneath the hand of our oppressor, but on the other side is where God calls us. Right, right. Where do you see yourself at, sis? No. The, but one at the bottom is it Instacar? Yeah. Okay, so-called Mexican. Right. But guess what? You're greater than what Mexican means. Right. right. Read this again. I'm gonna show you some. Read verse one though. Revelation chapter one and verse one. Right. Right. The revelation of Jesus Christ. See, this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Right. That's what revelation means to reveal what Jesus Christ did and what he looked like. Right. What's right. gonna happen? Now watch verse fourteen. Verse fourteen. His head. It says his head. And his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. Right. Now, if any of these images that you grew up seeing, were they white in color? The hair. Look, you can look. They have white hair? These? Oh, no, it's brown. I don't know. So, so that's, a, that's no. Yeah. White in color. And then it says woolly right. in texture. What, what has woolly hair? Right Who now. has woolly hair? Right oh. Do you have woolly hair? No. What about this brother right here? 
That's woolly hair, like a like a sheep. Right. That's what he's referring to, like Afro hair. Right. Now watch what it says. Read on. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, Read. and his feet. Just like you got on sandals, we look at Christ's feet. What? And his feet, like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Right. Not grass, but brass. B R A S S. Brown. 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 Are you brown, sis? Yes, you are. Right. You're different shades of brown. Right. All the 12 tribes are different shades of brown. Right. Hold that. Give me Hosea 7 and 8. So I can show you that. Because a lot of our times, our people ha uh, have a lower self-esteem because they think brown or dark skin is, guess what, inferior. Right. And white skin is superior. Right. No. Yeah. Everything's backwards. Jesus Christ right. is a black man. That's what right. we're reading about. Right. Right. And who you are. Read. Hosea chapter 7 and verse 8. Oh. Ephraim. It says Ephraim, which is the northern kingdom of Israel. That's from Ephraim all the way down. That's what you would call the so-called Hispanics today. It says Ephraim is what? Ephraim. He hath mixed himself among the people. Three. Ephraim is a cake not turned. You ever seen a pancake? You know, you cook a pancake. When you pour the batter on there and it starts to cook, right. if you don't turn it, what are the different shades of the color? On top, what's this, what's it, what is it? Real pale or light brown. Right. And then on the other side, it'd be what? It'd be black if you continue to cook right. it. Right. That's, what, that's what the Bible is saying. Ephraim or you of the uh, so-called uh, Mexicans will be from light to dark. Right. Do, you, do you see that amongst our people? Right. Now let's go back. Remember, we're dealing with what Christ look like so we can identify that we are with Christ as well because guess what this image is false that's the image of the beast that's the lies of Christianity read Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14 his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So if you burn anything, sis, what color does it turn? Right. It's black. Yeah, you burn right. white rice, it turns black. Right. So Jesus Christ is a black man. Yes, right. And you're from his same exact people. Right. Now how could I say that? How could I say that you are of the same exact people of Jesus the Christ? I would have to prove that in the Bible, right? Right. Because... They told us that we're Christians. Right. They told us that we we're Mexicans. They told us all these different things, but they never told us that we're God's chosen people, right. the Israelites. Right. They never told us that. Right. But we're going to show you that right now. Give me Deuteronomy 28, and I want verse 49. Bring it out. This is the this is what has happened to the northern kingdom of, of Israel. Right. Watch what happens. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. Right. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. From far. The question is this, is when the Aztecs were dwelling in Mexico, right? What race of people came from a far distance and colonized them? Bring it up. What race? White people. Right. right. Okay. They were of what? The Spaniards, right. correct? Right. Now watch what the Bible says. Read it again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far Read on. from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flying now it says as swift as the eagle flying now there's very there's something symbolic about that right there right. it says the eagle flying and over history let me get this on over history we can identify nation of people who identifies with the eagle That's right. now let's look back in history you got the greek coin it had the eagle on it it got the Roman coin, had the eagle on it. It got the Spanish coin, and it has what? The eagle on it. Right. Now, what does that show you? It's biblical. Right. Right. And guess what? Now in America, that's what's on there. Remember what they said when they got on the moon? The eagle has landed. Hey. That's what they said, right? right. That's out of their own mouth. Right. That goes to show you exactly what we're reading in the Bible. We can identify with that today. Right. So that, now, now the question is this. If that is so important about we can just identify that one thing. Are you right with God? Break it out. You're trying to be. What that, what that look like? 
Because we gotta change, sis. We gotta change. Once we know who we are, and once we identify, we gotta change. We must change. Give me Acts 319. Deuteronomy 22, after that. I'm gonna show you what this looks like because we have to become new creatures. Right. Read. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Read it repent. It says, repent. What does repent mean? Uh, no. Uh, repent for your sins. Okay, what is sin, sis? What is sin? Okay, you said, okay, I got you. You. A lot of times our people know what's right, but they don't know where it is actually in scripture. We're gonna read it to you. So you don't have to guess. Cause that's what they did to us in the Christian church. You understand? Watch this, read. First John chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committed sin. Whoever commits the action of sin. Transgresseth also the law. They break God's commandments. For sin is the transgression of the law. It says for sin is the breaking of God's commandments. So whenever you are not, whenever you're gonna repent, what do you gotta do? Go do God's commandments because you are in sin. So you gotta return to God. That's what repentance is. Go back to Acts and Deuteronomy 22. And we're gonna show you a commandment that you can keep, sis. Read. Acts chapter three, verse 19. Repent. Ye therefore, and be converted. It says, and be converted. That what? That your sins may be blotted out. That when you break God's laws, you are returned to him, and those former sins can be what? Blotted out, washed away. You understand? Now let's see a, a, a commandment. Give me Deuteronomy 22. Actually, give me 1 Timothy 2 and verse 9. I'm going to show you this. Because it says, a lot of times, our, our women... They dress in a way that's out of order. Right. You agree? Yeah. Why you say that? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, but you agree. Yeah. So, okay, I'll ask you this. What do you think the order of women should be in order how they should present themselves out when they go anywhere? What does that order look like? What's that got to do about God, nigga? Yeah, it has everything to do with God. Watch this. Watch this. Read. First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. And like men are also that women adorn themselves. It says women put on clothing, adorn themselves. What? In modest apparel. Right. In modest. M-O-D-E-S-T. Modest apparel. Explain that. Right. What is modest apparel? Classy, something else. I don't know. What about this sister right here? Do you is she modest? Okay, now let's do a comparison. She's modest. Are you modest? It's hot out here. No, I didn't ask you that. She's she in the same heat. Are you modest? You are. Okay, read it again. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. So it says in modest apparel. That means clothing that does not cause men to lust after them. Right. Don't attract sexual attention to yourself. Right. That means you got to be covered up. Right. You understand? You got that? Yeah, let's read that. Look, we're going to read the definition of modest. Hold up, sis. Hold up, sis. Every time the law comes out, our people always got to go. You know why? Because they're comfortable in their sin. Right. But it's good for you, sis. You need to change. Because guess what? If you don't change, there's going to be a man who's going to come and he's going to use you and put you away. Use you and abuse you. You know, you know what I'm saying, right? Read. Definition of modesty. Dressing or behaving so as to avoid Improperty or indecency, especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. You're supposed to avoid that. Right. You're not supposed to have men looking at your assets, so that's what you attract. Because right. if you attract that type of man, guess what he's got? What guess what you type of uh, man? I mean, what you put out is what you're gonna attract. Right. So if you're in modest, what are you gonna attract? A brother who's gonna use you in that behavior. That's why he don't want to marry you. That's why our communities have failed with single parent households. Give me, you got Hebrews? Hebrews, because we must understand the thing that's honorable with God is 
for our women to be modest. Right, and that right. goes all the way up until, guess what? You are to be married. Right, you don't right. supposed to be man and man, man, none of that. Or even a, uh, or even a man, he don't supposed to be woman a woman. Right. Read. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all. See that? That's, that's, that's honorable. Do you desire to be married, sis? Are you married? Why not? You don't know. Read it again. Marriage is honorable in all. So it says marriage is honorable in all. Is marriage pushed in our community? No. Right. Why not? We're supposed to buy what God said. Right. But guess what? We want to do dating. Right. We want to have friends with benefits. Right. We want to have no. side pieces. Right. But guess what? That's, my bus. That's your bus? Okay, sis. Go. Listen, why are you still? Remember, our contact information is on the flyer. Okay. Read it again. You can still listen, sis. Marriage is honorable in all, uh -huh. and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel with an update from IUIC TV. We are now offering exclusive content on a monthly subscription. For the first time ever, exclusive content will be available to you for only a dollar ninety-nine monthly fee. That's right, for only a dollar ninety-nine. You'll be able to enjoy all the up-and-coming original content from IUIC. Short films, documentaries, TV shows, and more. You don't want to miss this. The exclusive content is not available through the app. You'll need to log on through a browser to begin your subscription. The exclusive content is available now, Israel. It's available now. Let's not waste any time. Log on to IUIC TV and subscribe now. Thank you in advance for all your support and many blessings. Until then, stay healthy, stay faithful, but most of all, let's stay in the spirit. Most high in Christ bless you all. Shalom. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 